Now, having understood that, it is time for making some more solids. Let's take a square. If I extend it by the same distance as its side length, I get something which is known as a cube. If I start with a rectangle on the other hand and extend by some distance, I get a cuboid. The difference between a cube and a cuboid is that all the sides in a cube are equal, but in a cuboid, they are not. See, it is so easy to create 3D objects. Want to try one more? Extend a circle by some distance. What you get is called a cylinder. Now, let's move on and calculate the volume of all of these objects. We calculate the volume in two steps. In step one, we find the area of the 2D figure. And in step two, we multiply the area obtained in step one to the height to which it was extended. The value that you will get after step two is nothing but the volume of the solid that you wanted to calculate. Now, let us try and implement these steps. Let us find the volume of this cube, which has got a side length of one centimeter. In step one, we have to calculate the area of the 2D figure that formed this cube. So the 2D figure that forms a cube is a square, right? The area of this square is going to be one centimeter squared. Now, according to step two, we have to multiply the answer obtained in step one to the distance by which the figure has to be extended. That will give us one centimeter squared times one centimeter. Now, what will be the answer? Yes, you guessed it right. It will be equal to one times one, which is going to be one and centimeter squared times centimeter, which is going to be centimeter cube. So the volume of the cube with side one centimeter is equal to one centimeter cube or one cubic centimeter. This means that if you have a solid cube with side one centimeter, it would occupy one cubic centimeter of space. If you club both the steps for the cube, you can see that the volume is equal to one centimeter times one centimeter times one centimeter. So for any cube, you can use the same logic. That is, volume of the cube is going to be equal to side times side times side or S times S times S. Now remember that any 2D figure had areas in terms of square units. That was just not for squares, right? Any 2D figure. Similarly, all 3D objects will have volume in terms of cubic units. It is just not restricted to cubes. It could be any 3D object. Having said that, let us move on to a cuboid now. So a cuboid is formed by extending a rectangle, right? Let us say we have a rectangle with length and breadth as two centimeters and three centimeters. So what will be the area of this rectangle? It is going to be length times breadth, which is going to be equal to six centimeters square. Now let's give this rectangle a height of four centimeters. To find the volume, what will I have to do? I have to multiply the area with the height, which will result in six centimeters squared times four centimeters, which is going to be equal to 24 centimeter cube. So the volume of this cuboid is going to be 24 centimeter cube. Why am I calling it a volume of 24 centimeter cube? Because if I take a cube of volume one centimeter cube, then exactly 24 of them would fit inside this cuboid. That was easy, right? There are a lot of other shapes which you can actually calculate volumes of. But for now, just stick with cubes and cuboids. Now that you've learned how to calculate the volumes of cubes and cuboids, I have a very interesting question for you guys. We got 2D from extending 1D. 3D objects by extending 2D figures. What if we extend a 3D object, uh, like say a cube, what will happen? Think about it.